Hello, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I am bringing you 50 items that sold for $25 or more. And these are things that have sold on eBay, but I also have sales here from Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, and I believe also Facebook Marketplace because I list my items on as many different places as I can so that I maximize the number of buyers that I can have looking at my items. So if you see that some of the um, screenshots that I show you today are from places other than eBay, that's why. Uh, and again, this is not a, a plug for or a commercial for List Perfectly, but that's how I, that's the app I use, List Perfectly, where it allows me to create the listing and um, quickly list it across multiple platforms. And I have a link for that in my description box down below if you're interested. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I am a mom that resells. I homeschool my kids. And this is how I support my family. Uh, as you can see, I don't have my screen up today. I thought it might be fun to to let you see the room a la mess and how I kind of have things organized. I've moved things around. I swapped rooms with one of my kids. So now we have a whole different setup. So maybe sometime I'll show you our new setup uh, for the house because my eldest wanted my work room because it was much bigger than in that room. Anyway, so we uh, will just go ahead and jump right in. And again, if you are new here, I'd love to invite you to subscribe, make videos all about things that I am selling online, uh, things I pick up, thrift hauls, uh, garage sale ride-alongs. Uh, and most of the things you'll see today are hard goods. I don't sell a ton of clothes, uh, but I, I am picking up some more clothes and shoes more, more and more regularly. So, and I am live. So hi everybody in the chat. Hello. Hello. Let me say hello, hello real fast. Hello, crazy May and auntie Christy. Thank you so much for being here. I did get a webcam. So I think this is going to uh, solve some of the problems that we were having with the glitches in the live streams, thankfully. Okay. Let me go ahead and do the screen share now. And there. Okay. I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller so you can see a little better the items that have sold for $25 or more. And I'll tell you if I can remember how much I bought them for, um, most of them I can probably remember. This one I actually got for free. Um, this is a speaker system that I got. And I'm going to have to share, I have a video coming up um, about free stuff and getting free stuff to sell. And there's an app that I use that's a free a free um, alerts, freebie alerts. And so I'm going to be doing a video sharing that so that you can get set up for that. So make sure that you are subscribed and you get notified when I put out new videos because I definitely have a big pile of stuff here that I'm going to share with you that was free. So I got this uh, from one of my freebie alerts and it was this, I didn't even know what it was, but Juan did. And so I had it listed for $80 and it was tested working and everything. And it sold for $65 in about a week. So not, it wasn't, didn't take very long at all. Next up, these are some little hair pins uh, that are Toledo Damascene and they sold for $51.99. I got them in a lot of other Damascene stuff, so I'm not exactly sure how much I spent on them, but not too, too much. Pardon me. Oh, I can't see my chat now. And as we go along, if you have any questions, to pop them in the chat. And if they're pertinent to what we're talking about, then I will uh, I will bring it in. And if not, I'll save it till the end and I'll, I'll go through and see if there's any questions I can answer at the end. Uh, so I'm so glad to see you guys all here. Yay. This is a little coach uh, billfold, not billfold, but a um, checkbook holder. And it was knackered, as they say. It had, I mean, it had marks, pen marks. I'm not really good at cleaning things like this. I had it listed for $45 because it was vintage and because I didn't see a whole lot of them out there. So I, I list, that's kind of my strategy is I list things kind of high and then, um, and just put on best offer. And so this sold for 30 bucks, $30. This I got at a garage sale before I moved to Austin. I've been sitting on it forever, uh, but I bought it at a garage sale back in Friendswood for $40. And it was this really big coach weekender bag. I listed it for $325 because it was awesome and cool and just worth it. Uh, but I ended up taking an offer of $200 on it. Buyer did all, all of these, the buyer pays shipping. So I took a best offer of $200 because it was taking up so much space. I don't, you have, as you can see, I don't usually have a bunch of 
really big items. Um, but this was taking up quite a bit of space. And because it was so big, I made sure I had a box and I just stored it in the box. I was going to ship it in and, oh, okay. It took up so much space. Can I, did I already say that? I mean, in case you hadn't, yeah, it took up a lot of space. So I was glad that it went. Uh, next up, I got these Yeti hats and I still have more. Um, one, uh, there was a guy that was selling them like at a garage sale and he had a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of Yeti hats and shirts and all kinds of merchandise. So we went through and he wanted five bucks a piece on these hats. And so I, I picked through, um, and we got some different hats. Now these, as you might see, I had them listed at one seventy four ninety nine, a crazy price. This is what I'm talking about because this was a collab with Yeti and Howler Brothers and it had the UT um, Austin colors and I couldn't find any for sale at all. So I ended up, I, I posted them for a crazy price because I was just like, you never know, there might be somebody willing to spend this crazy price on these hats. Um, but yeah, so when the, when the offers came in for 40 bucks, uh, I took it. So I sold two of them at 40 bucks a piece. And then the other one, I think I sold for 45 or 50. I have to look and see. Um, Jay Ping with Julie says, I have a coat I'm storing in a shipping box. So much room. Yes. So I don't do a whole lot of big stuff. Well, I take that back. We're, we're starting to do bigger stuff, but we have a storage locker now. Now these are some boots that I would have never, never, never known about if it weren't for Juan. So we were at a garage sale and this lady was selling three pairs of these men's Iron Ranger boots, which are Red Wing, I think is the brand on those. And, and she wanted 200 bucks for the three pairs. And I was like, whoa, right? Because for me, I like to buy things really cheap. And so we were leaving and then mom was like, nah, go back, turn around, go back. We're buying those boots. And I was like, okay. So um, we bought these boots. These sold for $175, like same day. Uh, and then another pair that you'll see in a little bit sold. And then she had another pair. He actually went back. I thought he was nuts. So at like two days later after the garage sale, he was like, let's go back over to that lady's house. Cause I think she had some more boots. I want to go see if she still has them. I was like, garage sale's over. He's like, no, 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 let's go. So we went back and it was, it just happened to be in our neighborhood. So, and he did, he knocked on the door. Sure enough, she had another pair of boots, which you'll see in a minute. And she was like, yeah, okay. 60 bucks for these boots. And they've already sold as well. So here I am like, you're crazy going knocking on this lady's door. Nope. He knew what he was doing. All right. Next up. This is a uh, figure from a fire, uh, Firefly Loot Crate. Loot Crate's one of those. Uh, it comes in like a, it's a subscription box monthly. And Firefly is a, a television show that isn't on anymore. But it was such a good show. I... I liked it a lot. And so I was getting the crates just because for fun. And I knew that the items would end up selling later. So I had multiples on some of these for these loot crates. And this is River Tam. This is a figurine and she sold for $35. And this is a pop figure of Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols. I had two of these and I got them in a little kind of junk store down in Houston I believe I paid $15 a piece for them when I bought them uh, at the little junk store. This one sold for $105. The other one sold maybe a year ago. For, I think I sold it for about 200 because I know I had them listed for about 200 So Johnny Rutten sold. Oh, that was a good sale. All right. Then next up, you know, I always tell you I love buying figural items and just different uh, funky weird pieces. So this was a little wooden owl, super brightly colored. And this sold for $25. I believe I got this at a garage sale. I don't, I don't have my inventory notes handy, but I didn't pay very much for it. I know this is another one from that same, uh, the loot crate. It came in a different month. This is the main character, Malcolm Reynolds, and he sold for $65. This I bought at it was either Savers or Goodwill, and it's a, a sewing box, like a shaker style sewing box. Again, I if I don't find something similar when I'm doing my research, I will put a high price on it. So here you see I put it up for about $135 just because I, you know, there again might be somebody that comes along, really wants it, was willing to pay that price. If not, then I have that best offer feature set up so that uh, somebody did send me an offer for $75 and I took it. And I was happy with that. I think I bought this for seven or eight dollars at Goodwill. 
Oh, this is the back of the Malcolm Reynolds. I was trying to show like this was the what the box looked like on the other side, just in case. So another thing that I like to sell are Lego. And when I have a little extra money, uh, sometimes if I see really cool Legos dropping, I will buy a few just to put up. I actually have some, where are they? I have some right now that I, um, I don't have listed because they're still current. And because they're still selling them new now through the Lego site or say at Target or places like that, I just store them on a shelf because I know eventually when they are retired, the price on them is going to start ratcheting up. So I got some Harry Potter ones and a few others. But anyway, I've been doing this for a while. With, uh, I got some with Doctor Who ones and Star Wars, things like that. And I knew Wally was a very beloved character. So when this set came out, I bought two of them and just set them. I think they were $70, $69.99 when they came out new, I believe. They, were, they weren't they were crazy expensive. Um, so I bought those at the Lego store. I might've got, gotten them off the Lego site. If you do go to the Lego store or the Lego site, make sure you sign up for an account because you earn points, which uh, gives you money uh, off future Lego purchases. And then frequently when you buy um, over a certain amount, you get a free item, which is a promotional item that they don't actually sell. And so you can make multiple orders to get multiple of those. I did that over Christmas. So I got these sailboats that are like Lego sailboats that I okay, haven't listed yet. Um, but it's another way to get more product on top of, uh, you know, perks, perks. So this one sold for $350 and I still have one more up for sale. And there's a person that keeps sending me um, an offer of like 200 or 250 on it. I'm like, no, uh, I'm not going to take that offer because there's just not a lot of them out there. So somebody's going to come along and buy it at my price. I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to wait. Um, hang on. I'm saying, where did the Zulu come from? Uh Oh, is there something behind me that Zulu? It might, I don't know. Um, I'll have to come back to that at the end. Okay, next up, this is a puzzle that I picked up. I can't remember from where. I know during the pandemic when we were being really careful, we were doing a lot of puzzles, but I don't remember buying this one for my kids. I may have gotten it at a thrift store. I can't remember. Um, but it sold for $27.99. And the thing with this one was too, that I saw it sold with this puzzle and another one like is a lot for about 25 bucks, but I, I would just went ahead and, you know, a lot of times people will say, well, you know, you can't, well, not can't, but like, you know, oh, well, it's sold for that price with another item. So I'm not going to price it that high. Um, but no, cause maybe just the person is wanting just that one puzzle or I don't know, price it at whatever you want, you know, whatever. All right, this is a Ray Den item, and Ray Den is one of those that it's hit or miss. And this is a letter organizer. I believe I paid five dollars for this, four or five dollars at Goodwill, and it sold for forty-three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Y'all, let me know. Can y'all see? I mean, because I know I'm minimized, but I, oh, I hope y'all can see the numbers and the, the items pretty well. I can kind of zoom it in, but I'm worried about like I don't know if it's gonna work or not. All right, next up, again, these shoes I bought at a garage sale for a dollar. And now I wish, go looking back, because I wasn't really selling a lot of clothes and shoes. This was at the garage sale. Was, she had all these shoes for a dollar a pair. And I just kind of pick and, picked and chose a few here and there because I didn't really know a lot. And I didn't want to sit there and look up shoes on my phone in front of this lady. So I just grabbed some that looked good. <laughs> and so these were free people. Um, little booties and they sold for $50. I was very happy with that sale. This one I just listed and it's actually uh, this plush and it's it's supposed to have a little helmet with it. Uh, not a helmet, hard helmet, but like a plush astronaut helmet. And I, I got it at Goodwill and I wish I had the, the price on it. I think I paid maybe $3 for it and it sold for $27.99. Then this is one that I also got at uh, Goodwill. And I always like looking through the stationery section for, you know, notebooks or things like that. This is a brand that I, Kursiga, Giga, guess, uh, anyway, I'm going to butcher that. But when I looked it up, um, I saw that it was selling new for a very, it's a very expensive journal brand. And so I listed it and it sold for $34.99. I believe this was on Etsy. 
And then I have been selling some lots of jewelry right now. All the lots that I had made up have sold. I only posted one of them on here, but I've sold them for between $25 and $35, depending on what was in the lots. And so this lot sold for $25. Bucks. Just a lot of stuff. I bought these two choking um, vases at a garage sale. I believe I got the, the pair of them for $8 and they were a wreck inside. And I definitely took pictures of all that, but they kind of were like kind of corroded and rusty on the inside. And so if they were in really pristine shape, I could have asked way more for these. But because they were really kind of banged up on the inside and mm, I mean, they look pretty on the outside. You can kind of see a little bit of... Um, wear and stuff on the outside, but for $50, I was happy with that profit. All right, next, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So apologies in advance if I do, um, this little pink glass paperweight egg sold. Can I get to my mute button in time? I don't know if I can, of course it's not, I'm not, I'm not going to sneeze. Um, and it sold for $40. I think I got this at Savers. Wait, here it comes. Oh, there we go. Excuse me. Uh, everything is blooming now, right? So, all right. This I got at a Goodwill. And this is a boxing Jack-Jack and the raccoon from Incredibles 2. And if you can see right down here, I have where it says a uh, YouTube video. Because this is an Etsy listing, I can't embed the YouTube video like I can on eBay. I know that Etsy has a feature now, and so does eBay, where you can... Um, have a video in your listing like a, that you can upload to the site. But on Etsy, you can't hear any sound. And it's like 30 seconds or something. I just really short. I don't even know if it's 30 seconds. But uh, I still wanted to put my YouTube video so that you could see it moving and you could hear the sounds that the animal, that the, that the characters make and all that. So this sold for $67.99. I think I bought it for $7 or $8. It wasn't a ton of money. All right, next, this is a little uh, butterfly. Again, I I can't remember now if I made a video for this one or not, but it it's springing. It has a spring underneath, so it like bounces. And this sold for $30. Just a little cast metal. I think I got it at a garage sale. This one I got at the same garage sale that I got those vases. And I think I got it for about 4 or $5. It's a divided fish serving tray platter and it's sold for $25. I shipped this in, I'm, not, I'm sure I'm going to get that question. I shipped this in, um, you know, the priority shoe boxes and then just kind of Frankenbox cut and Frankenbox two of them together. I just had to order some more. I love that size box. Okay. Then this just sold. Um, this was a camphor like carved wooden box and it was, you know, not super big. It was like, like so big and it sold for $84 and I got it for, this is the top of it. I believe five or $6 at uh, Goodwill. I love picking up. I think I got it at Savers now that I'm, my kids are quiet all day. And then as soon as I say I'm going live now I can hear them down there. All right. Here's another pair of those iron ranger boots that one, you know, got me to, well, not got me to buy, he bought them. Um, but I was like, what are you doing? Those are so expensive. Sure enough, these sold, I mean, within the day or the next day um, for $185. Then this is a Steve Madden wallet that I picked up at um, Goodwill. And it was in, you know, where you have all the, the basket that they have all the wallets and you have to dig through them. And I think that I bought this for about 4 or $5 and it sold for 35 bucks. I know I'm going fast, but I have a lot of items to go through here. All right, these were also in the Firefly uh, loot crate that, that the other figures came in, but these are more like, kind of like little pop figures. Um, this is the character Inara, and they did come in a little box, which I think I cut off the picture of that. Um, and this one sold for $64. This was Wash, and he sold for $44. They're about this big. They're little fi figurines. So if you see stuff like this, it doesn't hurt to stop and look it up, even though they look like toys and just little figurines. You just never know. And then there was one more, but I think it sold for just under, under $25. So I didn't include it in the video, but there were three that went to the same person. Oh, there's Danny. 
All right, this vase sold for 28 bucks. Danny's at the door meowing at me. Uh, and then this is a little Powerpuff Girl, like a little plastic purse. And inside it, it had like another little coin purse and all kinds of little stuff inside. And this was actually in the bags at Savers. So I bought this for maybe two or three bucks in the, one of the bags that had other stuff in it. And it sold for $39. And it wasn't huge either. It was like one of these little, little numbers like that. It was little. But because you don't, you just don't see a whole lot of Powerpuff Girl stuff. And it was still like new, you know, like nobody had messed with it. Then this was uh, an item that my, my grandmother had. She had a number of these um, that she hung from her Christmas tree. And so I decided, well, I, you know, I'm not really hanging them from our tree. And I don't know. So I sold them and this one sold for $30. It's like a shell, but then the top opens like it's a little purse, like it's a hinged lid. Although what you would put in it, I don't know. These I got at Savers and I kind of took a chance on them because I think I paid 15 bucks for these. I, I paid more than I thought was wise at the time um, for these. They were horn and they were Sir Jack's like cups, right? And they ended up selling for 80 bucks. So whew, it took a little time for them to sell, but they did finally sell. And then this is a little um, Indian head, like kind of like a cigar band ring that sold for $49. And I think I got this at an estate sale, if I'm not mistaken, with some other pieces of jewelry that I kind of like lumped together and said, how much for all this stuff kind of deal. One of those. Here's another one of those uh, Star Wars sets. This one I actually got on clearance. So whenever I'm walking Target, I always walk the clearance sec, like the toy aisle clearance. And this one was on clearance there. And this one sold for $70. And then this is one of those, again, also, this was one of those small sets that maybe, you know, you pick up for $9, sometimes they're $12. They're just one of those little sets. And again, just had it on the shelf and just waited and it sold for 35 bucks. And then these Converse I bought, oh, I think I got them at, oh yeah, I, they were in my shoe video recently. Um, so I got them at Goodwill, I believe for $7. And I, I didn't clean them up, which now I'm like, I probably if I cleaned them up, I could have gotten a little more for them, but I'm still was new, you know, kind of new getting into shoes and like, we're not really like cleaning shoes, but anyway, they sell for $25. So I was happy for that. Another puzzle sold. Um, this one sold for 35 bucks and this one I've had for a long time. I, I thought about having the kids do it and then it was so weird and funny. I was like, no, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. So it sold for $35. This I bought at a garage sale. It was a, like a plastic toy, right? Again, it looked like a little toy lion. But as I looked at it, I realized this doesn't look like a regular lion. And so I just was like, you know what? I think I got it for a dollar or something like that at a garage sale. I'm going to take it home and, and figure out who this thing is. And so I did, did a little digging and it was from Final Fantasy and it is sold for $40. This, I believe I got for a dollar or two at a garage sale and it did have a little crack in it, which a little chip, which I, I mentioned in the listing and it sold. Oh, here I see it. I got it for $2. There's my little inventory note. Um, yeah. And it sold for $25. These are the boots that he went back for y'all. <laughs> These are the boots that he was like, let's go back and knock on our door. I'm going to ask her because I think she had some more. And I was like, you're nuts. What are you doing? You're crazy. He's like, no, 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 no. If she's got them, she's going to want to sell them. I was like, okay, fine. So we went. Sure enough, she was like, yeah, yeah. And she originally went, oh, see, I think he paid. No, he paid 60 for them. Because I remember originally she wanted 80 bucks. And he was like, mm, let me let me see. Let me think about it. They swapped the numbers. And then over the next couple of days, she kept messaging him like, hey, 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 do you want these boots? And he's like, okay, can you do 60? Sure enough. She's like, yeah, I don't know. I put 80 here, but, but he ended up paying less. Um, and they sold like the same day for 200 bucks. So I don't know the nerve to go up to somebody's door after the garage sale. By the way, do you have some more stuff for me? This little turtle, pardon me, I have to take a sip. Okay. Um, this little turtle I picked up at a garage sale for $4. And it looked like it had been rewired because the light didn't stand where it was supposed to. And I, I put that in the description 
This sold on Facebook Marketplace for $30. And <clears throat> this is a, again, a Damascene necklace that sold for $39. I guess I couldn't remember how much I got it for. So I don't have any inventory note there. I'm going to come back in the chat in a little bit. I see you guys all talking. I'm going to come back at the end and uh, jump into the chat with everybody. This is an Alex and Annie bracelet that I got in either a jewelry jar or one of the Goodwill blue boxes and it sold for $25. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm still, I'm making stay. There's one. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, yes, I'm making steaks tonight. So <laughs> come home and you'll get some. All right. Uh, next up, <laughs> um, we have got this. It's a very tarnished uh, sterling silver bracelet. Y'all say hi to one in the chat if you're here live. Um, and it sold for 35 bucks and it had some dings and it had a lot of tarnish on it. I don't generally polish things that are tarnished up because the person that's buying it might like that, that tarnished patina on their item. And that way it gives them the opportunity, like the choice if they want to uh, polish it up or not. All right. So y'all let me know how the stream is looking. I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on it, but it looks way better. All right, so here we've got this tree frog. It's a hand puppet. I always like to pick one. I just picked up a puppet today for 50 cents, a, a bald eagle one, which I think I sold recently, um, one just like it. And this sold for 25 bucks. So if you see puppets, especially folk manis, they make really nice puppets. But if you see really cool looking puppets like this, I mean, not just little cheapy ones, but if you see nice ones that are like this, um, then definitely worth the pickup. This fork ring sold for 25 bucks. And honestly, I was a little bit surprised because I've, I've had stuff like this that just didn't sell this well. So, and it did sit for a little while, but it did, it finally sold for $25. And then this I got, remember a while back when I got that uh, big lot of stuff for 500 bucks uh, from, it was a member of uh, the jewelry group, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. And this was one of the items that was in that lot that I bought for 500 bucks and it sold for $47.99. You went for steaks too. Yes. Yes. We're going to have steak, steak and fries tonight. <laughs> Everybody's welcome. Uh Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Here we go. All right. This is another item that frequently I talk about. I always, always most likely usually like to pick up ginger jars. So, and this is a Celadon, that's like the coloring and all that, the ginger jar. And I believe I bought this at Savers for maybe $5 and it sold for 75 bucks. So if you see ginger jars, they're definitely worth uh, picking up and looking at. Love selling ginger jars. This is a Bakelite bangle and I have a number of videos on how to identify Bakelite and how to test it to make sure that it is actually Bakelite. Um, so this is a Bakelite bangle that I can't remember if this is one that Sharon gave me or if this is one that I bought on my own. I can't remember. Um, but this one sold for $75. And then this little ring, um, it tested out as a ruby in this. And I, um, I was able to look, you see here, I have a, you know, video of gem tester. So you can see that I, uh, I test the gem using my Presidium gem tester and I insert that into my listing so that the buyer can see that, you know, see the video of me testing this, the ring to see on the gem tester where it lands. Now the, the Presidium gem tester doesn't um, distinguish between lab created or natural. And that's just because it's got the same makeup. But anyway, um, it ended up selling for $75. And that being said, also, if you're interested more in learning more about that, I had to get a new gem tester because my old one finally just like went kaput and just was acting really wacko. So I got a new Presidium gem tester that I'm going to be unboxing. And apparently it's a lot easier to calibrate on the new ones. So I'm really excited about it. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, but I've got a bunch of stuff to pull out to test with our new Presidium gem tester. So stay tuned for that. Then this ashtray, I got this one and another one, which I still have the other, um, at a garage sale, I believe for 75 cents a piece. And it, this sold for $35. So check out vintage ashtrays as well. And this is, this was a surprise sell for me. So this is one of those, 
it came apart in two pieces so it, was, it would lay flat and it's like a turkey that you would put napkins in and it would make it look like it had all these feathers um and this sold for 25 bucks i got it at a garage sale for maybe 50 cents it, i she had a ton of thanksgiving things and and as i have learned recently i can't keep turkey stuff on my you know like it seems like which is weird to me because I wouldn't normally pick up things that were Thanksgiving, Turkey, et cetera, et cetera. But I started noticing that anytime I do finally get Thanksgiving Turkey type stuff and listed, it sells very quickly. So there's that as well. Okay. You're on your second gem tester too. Yes. <laughs> I was like, what's going on with this gem tester? It was like, really, it was like possessed or something. All right. So this owl i also got at a garage sale i remember the there was a very nice lady that i bought it from and oh gosh what did i spend on it i i need to have my my inventory notes this is why i do this but it sold for 25 dollars. i believe it was three or four bucks the next up is this um jelly cat pink pom pom ostrich jelly cat is a really good uh, plush brand so if you see it then look up the animal or the plush that you've got there with the jelly cat uh, logo on it. Uh, this I got for maybe three or four bucks at uh, Goodwill and it sold for $30. This, <laughs> this, which I also got at Savers, she was, she had her box and everything. And this is another one that I created a video for and I put in the listing because she was moving and her eyes lit up and she made sounds and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, this sold for 35 bucks. I believe I got her for 10 or $12 at um, Savers. Sold for 50 bucks. I can't remember what I just said. Okay. Then this is a rhodonite ring that I picked up. I can't remember where on this one, honestly. Um, and it sold for 63 bucks. So natural stone, sterling silver. Usually you can't go wrong. Is that my last one? Oh my goodness. Okay. We flew through those. So those are sales that I've had that were $50, not $50 or more, but $25 or more, 50 sales that were $25 or more. As you can see, it was a wide variety of things from hard goods to jewelry. I mean, clothes, not clothes, but shoes, all kinds of different stuff. So um, if you are done watching, I'm going to jump into the chat. And if you are leaving at this point, I want to thank you for being here. Go down, leave me a comment and let, let me know something that you have sold. You know, I shared mine. Now you share yours. Let me know something that you have sold for $25 or more. Make sure you check out the comment section so that you can get more ideas of what kinds of things you could be picking up to sell for a high profit. And I'm going to go ahead and come and say, Hey, in the chat, because there's lots of friends in the chat that I haven't seen in a long time. And I'm really happy that my stream is going so well today. So hello, everybody. And I'm going to look also to see if there's any questions that pop up because um, I haven't been able to do a QA and a in a while to, um, to answer our questions. So hello, hello, hello. Also from, from Texas. Hello, Rhonda. Thanks for being here. Hello. Okay. So, okay. I'm, I got that part to that part. Hello, Kraken reseller. Oh, thanks. Yeah, let the hair grow. My my mother decided because she, she saw my video the other day, and I I dyed my hair a little bit darker. And that she called. She's like, I saw your hair. It looks maroon. I was like, Do you like it or no? I think she I think she did not like it, but that's okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Any questions? Hello, Doug. Hi, 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 Fat Bird Vines. So nice to see you guys here. I'm hoping that um. I can do a little bit more live now that I've got this webcam and it's, it's going to be, going to be really good. I'm very articulate today, apparently. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've been able to come live. I've been doing a little more, I have been a lot more sporadic with my videos because I was getting so frustrated with the, apparently it's the webcam in my Mac is what we've, we've tried so many different things and it just wasn't fixing the problem. So I'm very happy that now I can just jump on and, and go live to do videos and be a little more regular. <laughs> Being regular is good, right? Um, hello, hello, Timeless Sharps. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi to my wand. Um, let's see, you got a, a pair of sorrel caribou boots for free. Going to try to listen. Oh, nice. I, we got a bunch of free stuff today, so I can't, and I have a, a big pile. I can take my camera off. This is so fun and show you. Look. Can I show you this whole, like this big pile of stuff was free. Um, and then I have some other stuff. Okay. Did I make you dizzy? Sorry. I have some other things too that I am going to share you, with you guys in a video soon, 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 soon. And tell you how I got them free. 
Okay. Um, okay, that's that it. Are we back? Okay, we jumped. You're on your second gym tester too. I it finally happened. I had to get a new one. Um, okay, just finished dinner. Who's <laughs> one is coming for steak dinner? Juan is Juan is my is my is my fella. Yeah. And he's coming for steak dinner because this is where he lives. So <laughs> all right. Uh, any tips on figuring what stones things are? Yeah, I have a couple videos on identifying stones. And I also um, have a, a site, a Facebook group called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers that you can join. And there's a lot of great people and information in there that can help you with identifying stones. Uh, what kind of webcam is this? This is a Logitech with numbers. I can't see what it says right now. But yeah, I got a Logitech one. Um, it was, I think, $60 on Amazon and it had really good reviews. And it was one of the ones that was like, top pick, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I know. Yay for free. But I'm definitely going to come back in the next couple of days and share um, the site, the, the app that I am using, um, because most of you don't live in my area. So you're not my competition for, for that app. Um and yeah, it's been really good. So we got something my, yesterday. My, it's so funny how this happens, you guys. You know, when you're, you're talking to someone or you're thinking like, I need to get this or I want to get this. We had taken some stuff out to my sister's place in Kerrville. And I was telling her, you know, how we got some stuff off of the, like we got her this bed frame and it was off the free site. Um, and she was like, well, if ever a wood chipper pops up, not that it ever would, because who's going to give away a free wood chipper um, pops up, then, you know, grab it for me. I said, okay. You know, I said, you never know. I, I kid you not yesterday, wood chipper <laughs> pops up free on the site. And I I've never seen a wood chipper for sale ever. in the whole time I've been doing this. So message the person. Sure enough, we go over there and he's like, it hasn't run in five years, but you could still pull it and so we're going to get it um, cleaned up for my sister because, you know, she's got a really nice property out there in Kerrville and she wanted to wood chip some of the downed branches to make mulch for some of her trails out on our property. So I know. How does that? I mean, just amazing how the um, the universe works that way. All right, you guys, I apparently have got to go get busy on making steak dinner tonight and get it marinade, um, get, get it going. I don't like to let it sit too long on the steaks, just my personal preference. Okay. So I'm going to go get that going. And I'm so glad you guys came and hang out. Um, make sure you leave a comment letting me know something that you sold for $25 or more. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for being here, everybody. Goodbye.